Hey everyone! Welcome to Learn with Miral, where learning is always a blast. Today, we're going on a sound trip to explore the amazing world of sounds. We'll discover how they're created, how we hear them, and the magic they bring to our everyday lives. Before we set off, remember to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on our fun learning adventures. Ever wondered what makes that bang or squeak? It's all thanks to something called sound. So what is sound exactly? Well, imagine throwing a pebble in a pond. See those ripples? They're a bit like how sound travels. When something makes a noise, it creates vibrations or waves in the air. These sound waves are like invisible ripples that zoom through the air all around us. Now think about a drum. When you hit it, the top of the drum vibrates and makes sound waves. The same thing happens when you pluck a guitar string or when a cat purrs. Anything that vibrates can make a sound. Even your own voice is a result of vibrations in your throat. So whether it's a dog barking, a car honking, or your favorite song playing, sound is everywhere. It's like a magical invisible tickle that travels through the air. We hear sounds with our amazing ears. These aren't just for hanging sunglasses on, you know. Ears are like our personal sound detectives, always on the lookout for interesting noises. Inside our ears are these special helpers called eardrums. No, they're not like the drums in a band, but they're just as cool. You see, when sound waves, those invisible tickles we talked about, reach our ears, they bump into the eardrums. This causes the eardrums to move back and forth, creating vibrations. These vibrations are then sent deeper into our ears, to a place called the cochlea, which is filled with tiny hair cells. These hair cells move with the vibrations and send signals to our brain. And voila! The brain translates these signals into the sounds we know and love. It's like our ears and brain are having a secret conversation all about sound. So, when sound waves reach our eardrums, they make them vibrate. And that's how we hear. Sound is full of surprises. Let's try some cool experiments to see how sound waves can make things move and vibrate. Let's make a can phone. Connect two cans with a string, speak into one can, and listen from the other. The sound travels along the string and into your ear. Next, have you ever tried making music with water? Fill up a glass with water and blow through a straw. You'll hear different sounds as the water level changes. Isn't sound amazing? These are just a few ways to explore the wonderful world of sound right at home. Remember, the next time you hear something interesting, stop and listen closely. There's a whole world of sound waiting to be discovered. Some sounds can be really loud, like a big boom from thunder or a fire engine racing by. These thrilling sounds are fun to hear, but too much can hurt our ears. So, when sounds get too loud, we can use earmuffs or simply move away from the noise. We love hearing exciting sounds, but remember, very loud sounds can hurt our ears, so it's important to be careful. So there you have it, the amazing world of sound. We've learned how vibrations create sounds, how our super ears help us hear, and we've even experimented with sound. From tiny whispers to big roars, sound is everywhere, filling our lives with music, laughter, and all sorts of adventures. Thank you for joining us on our sound trip today. Don't forget to subscribe for more fun learning adventures with Morale.